Hello, I'm Michael Evitus, TPC Racing. Uh, in case uh, many people don't know me, um, I've been racing for many number of years, Porsche cars, and can tell you through the evolution of the Porsche race car from the 993 through the 996 and 7, one of the biggest updates in the 991 race car was the brake package, and that was done by PFC for Porsche Motorsport for Porsche. Um, it's a fantastic system, so because of that uh, coordination and the amount of R&D that went into the 2014 and up 911, uh, you know, the 991 race car GT3, we have partnered with PFC to have a brake package for all of the GT cars from 2014 to current, as well as we'll be also backdating to all the 997s. Uh, but your Porsche car, whether it's a 991 uh, GT2, GT3, or just a regular 991 C2 or C4, we have a complete system for the car. Features a 405 millimeter disc, um, more similar to what would be on more of a GT3 R car, um, because currently in Cup on a 2600 pound car, we want a 380 millimeter rotor. Uh, we offer this in a 405 for all the street car and race car. It's a nice update. The R even uses a 405, and it's a 380 in the back. And this features a one piece monoblock caliper, fully far forged. Um, has a nice two-piece piston and note that I say two-piece because the piston actually has a separate outer cover that acts as an insulator to the piston itself. We also have these with another type that's a vented piston for um, it's, a, it's used in the narrower brake valve. The uh, caliper also features uh, a lot of lightning for the streetcar version. We've also undercut the caliper so it fits with your stock wheels because you'll notice the cross-section area is huge on this caliper. It also has no flex whatsoever. It's amazing to have the pedal feel. The pedal does not move in the car. It's an amazing brake system. The magic behind the GT3 is not only this engine, the suspension, the transmission, but it's really the marriage of the brakes to the chassis. And so we've captured that in this program. It's a uh, no compromise uh, program. Also features not only a fully floating hat, but notice the way that the hat engages. Now it's got drive dogs rather than bolts. And this allows for expansion of the gray iron. This is also the only gray iron that has passed Porsche's rigorous test for uh, for endurance racing. These are incredible rotors. The swept area exactly matches the pad. So there's no uh, loss of uh, heat to make irregular cooling. That's what destroys the rotors the most is the irregular cooling. The pads are a new pad that PFC has developed. This is a 64 and the 64 pad is meant to be more of a streetcar pad has a lot of characteristics of the 08 for those who know it and the 11 combined doesn't quite have the total torque of an 8 um, uh, it's got a nice flat torque curve um, really great characteristics the release is beautiful of the pedal you'll really like these pads we'll be using this in uh, in our Optima car and this is actually the brake package we've been looking for uh, we've been finishing this has been a two-year um, R&D project for us with PFC and we're very proud to announce the release of the 405. Oh, let's talk about, okay, the 405 package also incorporates for the non-GT car. So this car behind us, give a flash over here, the car behind us is actually my Optima car. This is a 2014 911 Turbo. It's got all the factory uprights. This upright converts the standard upright to the 225 millimeter center line that's used on the streetcar. The same 225 allows the front calipers here to be bolted directly onto your GT uprights with no adapters. In the rear, since we're uh, going up in uh, on the this uh, non GT car upright, you'll need a spacer. Notice it's a T bar design. Um, handles a lot of stress, a lot of load. You also get with this the proper studs that are included in the package. 
Um, everything, uh, un, you know, has passed PFC's rigorous testing, right down to even the OD of the uh, fastener itself. Everything they do is just with an eye on attention to detail and racing. But we've allowed this to come into the uh, streetcar market. And uh, we're proud to announce this partnership. We're proud to release this product. And we're certainly fortunate to be able to use this on our streetcar. Another thing that we've been working on with PFC, and they really came up with this, is that we've come up, PFC has come up with another design. This one, you can hear a slight rattle on the rotor because it's a floating rotor. This one has the same clearance for the drive dogs, but the width of the drive dog and this snap ring makes it so there's like a spring fit. It still floats the same amount, but it won't have all the knockback noise. So we're running these right now as uh, we've been testing these and the performance has been equal to the fully floating. Um, and we're right now getting ready to bolt this onto our Optima car, which uh, has some pretty staggering performance going into the final race at Las Vegas. We've increased the performance from about 700 horsepower to about 850 we'll be running there. Uh, this has a, uh, a uh, new turbo setup on it and uh, still has the factory ECU and uh, we're able to get up to 850 horsepower. It's got the DSC suspension, has incredible grip. We're running a 200 treadwear tire and we're pulling 1.64 G's laterally and we've been pulling about 1.58 G's longitudinally and braking and we're going to see with this package if we can uh, go up to about 1.6 G's and braking which is quite staggering for a streetcar tire. So. Um, this is uh, an amazing setup right here. No compromise performance, uh, race car package, win a street car. Now, this also will completely retrofit your 2014 to 2019 GT3 and GT3 RS. This is a total bolt, this is a total package bolt on. You can bolt the rear calipers onto your existing upright with the rotors. And in the front of the car, you will replace your ceramic brakes for the guys doing track events to people that don't want to destroy their ceramics who are wanting even deeper breaking way deeper than the ceramics go uh you would put this combination on same as you would in the factory race cars and this will allow you a couple of different pad choices we like the 64 for everything from track day to street car and of course we put the 11s on when we're full-blown race car and uh, this is a fantastic package, direct fit for your GT3, GT3 RS, and GT2 RS. Okay, a couple of small facts on the um, PFC brake system, uh, designed and built with TPC Racing. Um, this is one thing that we absolutely had, it was a must, and it has nothing to do with the race car whatsoever and that is the rear rotors all feature the e-brake hat. And it's an exact fit. You won't have to uh, recalibrate your e-brake. Um, makes it a direct bolt on and makes it also so that you maintain your e-brake. So if anybody's taken any of the rotors off of one of the factory race cars, that's one thing you don't get is your emergency brake. Um, that along with the uh, full floating hat featuring the uh, spring-loaded circlip makes it so you don't have all the rattling as well for streetcar applications. So just a little tidbit to throw in there to uh, show you how much attention to detail has been paid to the streetcar application with race car brakes. We are really are, we've been striving with PFC to build a no compromise brake package for all the Porsche family to give you the streetcar drivability with no lack of performance on the race surface. So leave it to PFC and uh, TPC Racing is proud to be a partner and to be involved with the development of this streetcar package.